Hi everyone, I'm Felix from Shop3D and today we're going to be going over the Tabletop 3D Scanner from Shining 3D. It's great when you have a real life object that you want to 3D print or if you just need a 3D model to play around with. So let's get into it. There are generally two types of applications for the 3D scanner. One of them being duplication, where you take a real life object like this and then duplicate it by slicing and 3D printing it. The other one is taking an object and making custom parts for it. For example, take this camera. We can 3D scan it and make a custom grip for it. This is a lot better than taking a tape measure or a caliper to measure all the complicated shapes. Instead, you have a 3D model on the computer for reference. The scanner has three main components, the automatic turntable, the frame, and the 3D scanner itself. Make sure to assemble it as per the quick start guide by sliding all the components into the right position. Plug all the cables in, and you're almost ready to go. Make sure to use the included calibration board to calibrate the scanner for first time use. That is done through the software and takes about five minutes. Once you've done that, you're actually ready to scan. So put your objects on the turntable and let's get scanning. So here we are on the computer and we already went ahead and downloaded and installed Xscan. Uh, we're gonna choose the SE because that's the model that we have here. So we're just gonna start a new project and we're gonna click on apply because we don't have the texture scan add-on for the scanner here. At this point, we need to tweak a little bit of the settings to make sure that our part is gonna scan properly. So here is a, a little bar to tweak the exposure on your part. Ideally, you want not too much red and not too little red. Somewhere around here is okay. Next, we're gonna configure our turntable and we're gonna do eight pictures around the circle. And we're gonna do feature alignment because we don't have the turntable alignment like the SP and we're gonna click on start scan. Once you hit scan, you can go ahead and grab some coffee because this does take a little bit of time, but it's all automatic, so you don't have to worry about it. So here we are, so our scan is finished and you can see that some of the surfaces didn't get picked up, but that's okay. The next step that we're gonna take is turn our Smurf over on the side and then start scanning again. And this will pick up the rest of the surfaces and fill up any gaps. You don't have to worry about aligning the two scans together because the software will do it for you. At this point, our 3D scan has enough information so that our automatic meshing is gonna work out just fine. So we'll select the mesh model on the bottom right and select watertight for the way we wanna process the data. At this point, you can select the detail that you want to process the data at. We're gonna select medium detail because for the purpose of 3D printing, high detail is not gonna be necessary. So there you go, the model did a really great job of sealing all of the missed information that we had. The last thing we're gonna do is just cut a flat surface right here by using the cutting tool. And we're gonna just seal up these holes manually using the tools in the software. There you go, this model is ready to be 3D printed. The last step is to save our scan in an STL format and load it into our slicing software. Let's go over some tech specs about this specific model. This is the Einscan SE, the entry level model for tabletop 3D scanning. It has a minimum scan area of 30 millimeters cubed and a maximum for auto mode of 200 millimeters cubed. For fixed mode, you can go all the way up to 700 millimeters cubed. Here's a quick tip for you. If you have shiny objects like this one, use Magnaflux to coat the object with a white spray that's washable afterwards to help the scanner out when it is scanning. 
Now this is the entry level model. So if you wanted a little bit more capability, you can go with the Einscan SP, which has coded markers on the turntable to enable you to scan a little bit more complicated shapes without losing positioning and also scan bigger things. And if you needed to scan colors, you can get the discovery pack, which works on both the SE and SP to enable you to scan colors. If you're looking to get into 3D scanning, these tabletop scanners are a great way to start. Make sure to check out our pistol width video in the description below to see how we put this 3D scanner to use. And as always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to hear more from Shop3D and drop us a comment or give us a call if you had any questions. Until next time, I'm Felix.